Have you ever heard the gospel about Jesus? Or did you hear it but never really understood it? This short video is to show you what happened at the time Jesus was on the earth. And for what purpose? As you probably know, around 2,000 years ago, a little baby was born. An angel told a young woman named Mary she would give birth to a boy and to name him Jesus. He would save his people from their sins. The special thing about Jesus was that he would be the Messiah, the Savior of the world. Jesus grew up as an ordinary child, worked in his father's carpentry shop. As the years went by, and Jesus was around 30 years old, he was baptized with water, and in the same moment, God sent His Holy Spirit to Jesus. With the Holy Spirit as part of Jesus, He now started to preach the gospel, the gospel of the kingdom of God. And how to get eternal life in heaven by repenting of your sins and receiving forgiveness through Jesus. And you know, He told people to repent for the kingdom of God is near. When Jesus preached the gospel, he did many miracles to show his power, the power given from his true Father, God. And by seeing this exceptional power, people started to believe in him. Blind people received their sight again. Deaf people started hearing again. Lame people began walking again and even dead people rose from their graves. All of that to prove the power of God and to prove that Jesus was indeed the Son of God. These healings, the claim of being the Son of God, and other fantastic miracles became too much for the religious learned Jews. So they caught him in the middle of the night. They wanted to get rid of him. Jesus could have run away if he wanted, but he stayed to prove his love his love for you. Jesus was handed over to the Romans who tortured him as if he was a criminal, and after that, they killed him by hanging him on a cross between two thieves. Jesus even asked God to forgive those who crucified him just before he died, and that includes you. What an incredible love. When Jesus, the Son of God, died on the cross, he took all your sicknesses, all your pain, and all of your sins with him. The earth quaked and a big thunderstorm started. The Son of God was dead. Jesus was buried in a borrowed tomb and for three days he was dead. But on the third day, God raised Jesus. And he rose from the dead with a body of flesh and of bone. After Jesus was risen, he preached on the earth for 40 days and after that, he went away to his Father in heaven. Ten days later, after Jesus went away to his Father, God sent the Holy Spirit to his disciples so they could continue preaching the gospel, to baptize people in water, and afterwards to receive the Holy Spirit, for the ability to speak in tongues, prophecy, heal the sick, cast out demons, and to tell the world about Jesus and how to get an eternal life in heaven. And here is where everything stops. I mean, for many. But that's not it. Here, everything begins. You see, this is not just 2,000 years ago. No, Jesus rose from the grave, and He still lives today so you can know Him. The Holy Spirit is also the same today as we read in the Bible. So if you really believe in the gospel of Jesus as the Son of God, in the resurrection of Jesus in the flesh and bones, repent from your sins and get baptized in water. You will receive the same Holy Spirit that was in Jesus and in the first disciples. As Jesus commanded his disciple, you also have to go with the Holy Spirit and preach the gospel, heal sick, and do even greater miracles than he did. Why? To show the world that the gospel of Jesus Christ is filled with power, that he is a living and loving God who wants you to live free from your sins and with Jesus as your Lord and Savior. By seeing these fantastic miracles today, 
you won't be able to do anything else than to start believing. <laughs>